Well, thank you for returning as we continue on You Can Make a Difference. This is lesson number 10. We're going to talk about Paul the Apostle making a difference in Timothy's life. William Penn, the colonial colonialist, wrote this. I expect to pass through life but once. If, therefore, there be any kindness I can show, or any good thing I can do to any fellow being, let me do it now, and not de defer or neglect it, as I shall not pass this way again. Another great difference maker is the Apostle Paul. We can read of how many people's lives he made a difference in, as recorded in Romans 16. But there is one relationship that provides encouragement and inspiration for you and me to commit to being difference makers. That relationship, Paul and Timothy. Paul first met Timothy during the second missionary journey, according to Acts 16, verse 1. It appears that Timothy was a convert when Paul first, when Paul first ministered at Lystra. Timothy established himself as a believer and was spoken well of by the brethren at Lystra and Iconium. How was Paul a difference maker in Timothy's life? Well, we read in Acts 17, 14, Then immediately the brethren sent Paul out to go as far as the sea, and Silas and Timothy remained there. After Paul's ministry at Berea, he felt secure enough to leave behind Timothy and Titus. We read in Acts 18.5, But when Silas and Timothy came down from Macedonia, Paul began devoting himself completely to the word, solemnly testifying to the Jews that Jesus was the Christ. Timothy and Silas returned from Macedonia. Timothy's presence freed Paul to devote himself completely to the word. We read further in Acts 19.22, And having sent into Macedonia two of those who ministered to him, Timothy and Aretas, he himself stayed in Asia for a while. Paul is providing numerous opportunities to do the work of a pastor by sending Timothy back into areas or remaining behind in the areas Paul just meant, ministered to. Again, in 1 Corinthians 4.17, we read, For this reason I have sent to you Timothy, who is my beloved and faithful child in the Lord, and he will remind you of my ways which are in Christ, just as I teach everywhere in every church. Paul actually wrote four letters to the church at Corinth, Paul sends Timothy to Corinth to remind them of biblical teaching as he formally taught when Paul was there. What an honor to represent Christ, his word, and the founding father. Timothy is included in numerous salutational greetings of Paul's epistles, such as 2 Corinthians, Philippians, Colossians, 1 and 2 Thessalonians, and Philemon. Paul sends Timothy to Thessalonica to strengthen and encourage them in the faith. Timothy returns with a good report which encourages Paul's heart. In Hebrews 13, 23, Timothy is released from prison and rejoins Paul to visit the saints whom Paul wrote to in Hebrews. Paul commissioned Timothy to pastor the church at Ephesus that Paul founded. Tradition tells us that Timothy was martyred in Ephesus, attempting to halt a pagan procession of idols, ceremonies, and songs. Paul, by his example and love for Timothy, made a real difference. Paul refers to Timothy as a fellow worker in Romans 16, 21. My beloved and faithful child in the Lord, in the 1 Corinthians 4, 17. Timothy, my true child in the faith, 1 Timothy 1.2. Timothy, my son, in 1 Timothy 1.18. And Timothy, my beloved son, in 2 Timothy 1.2. Timothy had a biological father who was Greek and spiritually indifferent. Paul became Timothy's spiritual father and made a difference. 
You do not have to be an immediate blood relative to make a difference, guys. Just caring and loving can make all the difference in someone's life. I hope you're striving to be a difference maker even today as you listen to this broadcast. You can get caught up on the previous nine other lessons that are posted at our YouTube channel.